The ideas presented in this documentary are not particularly new and are in fact fairly mainstream in the archaeological community. Published in the online journal The Mammoth Trumpet. In 2000, a conference with over 1400 attendees was described. It was stated that, in quotes, though press coverage of the Santa Fe conference widely reported, the concept of the European culture spreading into North America as Clovis, the idea is not new. End quote. A number of luminaries have suggested a Stone Age European and Stone Age American link from as far back as the late 1700s. Thomas Jefferson speculated on such a prior migration when he wrote, quote, a passage from Europe to America was always practicable, even to the imperfect navigation of ancient times. End quote. Additionally, a number of prominent archaeologists have noticed similarities between Stone Age European and Stone Age American spare points. In 1877 the American archaeologist and naturalist, C. C. Abbott noted such a resemblance of projectile points found in the Delaware Valley in the USA. In the late 1930s, archaeologists from the University of New Mexico, Frank Hibben, noted the similarity following a dig near Albuquerque, New Mexico. Finally, even later, in 1952, John Withoft, the chief curator and state anthropologist in Pennsylvania in the 1940s and 1950s also noted such a similarity between Stone Age European and Stone Age American spear points. Still, other prominent scientists have suggested links between these two cultures. In 1919, N.C. Nelson, curator of prehistoric archaeology at the American Museum of Natural History, was the first to specifically link the Stone Age European Solitrean people to Paleo-Indians. Additionally, the idea of a prior transatlantic migration had also been well thought out. In the early 1960s Emerson Frank Greenman, professor anthropology at the University of Michigan as well as curator of archaeology in Ohio and Michigan museums, speculated that Atlantic crossings would have been easier during the last ice age, making a continuous edge for Stone Age explorers on skin boats to skirt. Last of all, multiple researchers have suggested that earlier cultures existed in the Americas before the Indians. In 1962 anthropologist Ronald Mason of Lawrence College acknowledged Stone Age American Sandia points were possibly older than Clovis by an unknown number of years. Further, Hannah M. Wormington, curator of the Denver Museum of Natural History, noted that fluted points occur not only oftener in the east but in a far greater range of variation. This suggested an east-to-west migration, and that settlements in the eastern United States were older than in the west. These findings are entirely supportive of a Stone Age European first arrival to the Americas along the east coast, and also undermine the idea of Asian-descended Indians being first to the Americas via migration down the Bering Strait from Asia.